Hi guys, welcome to the Laray Studios, yet another Android programming tutorial. Let's get to talk about localization in Android. To provide the best experience for the Android users in different regions, your app should handle not only text, but also numbers, dates, times, and currencies in ways appropriate to those regions. When users choose a language, they also choose a locale for that language such as the English, which is the United States, or uh, the English for the United Kingdom. Your app should change to show the format for that locale, for dates, time, numbers, currencies, and similar information. So right there in this application I'll be showing you, we'll be talking about how to uh, set up localization uh, in Android, and this app is based on the basic activity template, which is going to provide text views with string resources in a constraint layout. It's going to include an image and a floating action button. Uh, it's also going to have the localized language resources that the strings will be translated into French and Hebrew. And uh, you're going to be having the right to left layout adjustments. So without much ado, let's head straight to Android Studio and uh, let's understand how to set up localization right there in an Android uh, application. Uh, in the Build Gradle model app startup, with the constraint layout and the, the app compact version 7.25.3.1 with the support designs very pertinent sync gradle and set the application ready layout files we have the activity main which is the launcher the content main uh, which is actually the main content of the activity main and the activity helper uh, where we're going to actually attach that to the floating action body intent trigger so let's start with the activity main uh, where we're going to have so we're going to have the structure this way uh, where we'll be using uh, the coordinator layout uh, so we have the layout uh, wrapped around the coordinator layout and uh, including a content main layout as well so that actually houses all this content the what the coordinator does is just a wrapper so that we could have a floating action button you could use uh, the snack bar you could use even the toolbar inside the upper layout so that's just what the coordinator layout is doing, a wrapper around uh, your your layout. Now, the content mail is the detail. Well, we're going to have uh, the bunch of uh, layout. Uh, we have the constraint layout as the parent tag here. And uh, we're going to actually be using the constraint layout to uh, design this uh, interface. The text view, which is the heading, if you notice, uh, it has the layout constraint end to the parent of uh, the horizontal bias, the left to right of the product image, which is this. We can also use the linear layout, but uh, the constraint layout is quite, quite handy for you. And uh, to the end of the product image, as you've seen, which is this uh, tied to, and the product image over here is the uh, image view uh, for the Nougat candy package. And I'm calling from the source drivable nougat. You have that set up, and you have the description, which is the bunch of uh, text underneath uh, the title beside uh, the image view. So you could actually see how we'll make a constraint left to the right of the product image and uh, to the bottom of the heading. So it sits at the bottom of the heading. And the label uh, this is for the, uh, the expiration expiration date uh, that's the text for the expiration date and we are for the date itself and uh, the next uh, item is going to be uh, the quantity that's uh, the text before the quantity over here and the edit text to enter the number of quantities uh, you're looking at uh, we have the label for the price now uh, the price per package and uh, beside it is going to be uh, the price itself which is a text view and the last but not the least is going to be the total uh, label that's the total uh, price after you might have uh, multiplied the quantity with the units of uh, each uh, price and uh, the total of the price as well so that's just how this uh, layout flows and you have the floating action button over here uh, which uh, is being called from the activity main you could see that right in the floating action button cool from here, I will be looking at the activity up. That's just another uh, layout uh, calling from the floating action button. 
and uh, you have just uh, uh, just a mere layout and uh, with uh, the icon to call and uh, the text view just to you know, tell you to contact uh, the support department for help cool this is just a mere mock and uh, we're actually going to be translating this into uh, something much more serious in the values that's where I really want you to look at if you should notice we have the strings uh, with the Fr the French that's the France uh, load uh, flag that's uh, we actually translated all strings values uh, down to uh, the French uh, language so you have it uh, specified by there uh, we also have for the Hebrew uh, which uh, we actually translated all those uh, key values to the Hebrew uh, language which is basically written from right to left so I would implore you to take cognizance of that so if you're going to create a new uh, let's say a, for another locale you just right click on the strings.xml you go to the new uh, values resource file uh, you have this interface and what will you, will you do you select the locale once you select that uh, you pass that to the chosen qualifiers uh, you have the ability to pick any language you have right there with the flag you could select Arabic can you see that with the values I think AR that's going to be specified for Arabic so once you add strings that's going to actually be populated into uh, the exhibit can you see that that strings.xml that's for Arabic cool so that's just how to uh, create uh, the locale for a particular uh, region when it comes to the strings XML it's actually going to sit in the values if you should if we should go to the project directory you're going to see how it's going to be specified app source rest now you have the values which is global uh, for all if uh, any of those locale is not present and uh, you have for the Arabic right there values so you could actually have more than strings XML you could have style you could have uh, other format you could have colors right there in the values so it depends on how you really want your application to look like this for the French and this for the Hebrew so this is just what I've just created now for the Arabic I can easily take that out and uh, delete it off since we're not going to be having the locale for Arabic we only have for French and Hebrew cool from here I'll be headed straight to the Java classes I hope you understand how we're getting to this uh, level and the main activity that uh, the launcher uh, this extends the app compact we have the default quantity as one uh, the number format uh, for the user selected locale and uh, that's the tag so we have a fixed price in US dollars uh, the exchange rate from France to the Israel uh, exchange rate so we have it at 0.93 and uh, 3.61 that's from uh, France which is euro uh, down to the new Chicago's that's for uh, the Israel and we have the currency format uh, for the user selected locale also specify right there in the on create method we will need to set the content view you initialize the layout you're going to use the toolbar the floating action button uh, you get the current date from the uh, instantiated the new date and you add five days in milliseconds to create the expiration date uh, which you have right there five days in milliseconds and you set the expiration date as a date to display cool you have that and you format the date for the locale you get the instance you format based on uh, the date and uh, you display the formatted date as well you set out the price and currency uh, calling the country code for the user selected locale call the locale get default get country now you now you need to test if country code is France or Israel you're going to calculate the price with the exchange rate and change to the current country's currency format so if the device locale equals to France or device locale equals to the IL which is Israel uh, it's going to actually calculate the price in euros and else it's going to calculate in shekels so cool and that's how you're going to have uh, the price so you also have the edit action listener to so the edit text view uh, which uh, will actually uh, depict when uh, you're actually passing in uh, the figures into the edit text and this is going to override the on editor action 
a text entry parameters the text view the action id and the event which will be triggered now test if the action id equals to the digital info that's the action done uh, you're going to run this and uh, after that you're going to pass the string in view to a number uh, which you're going to use a try and catch blo block to actually catch for the pass exception and uh, inside this you're going to use the number format for the locale which we're going to multiply the number format and uh, now you're passing a string uh, to integer so that's what that is going to do for you so cool and uh, you need to show help once you click on uh, I will employ you to actually undo this uh, right there this is an assignment for you uh, calculate the total amount and uh, from the price and quantity since you have that already and uh, use the currency format uh, for France and Israel to actually get that done and show the total amount in string and you set that to the text view as the total amount cool just do some calculation here I'll leave you that leave that to you to actually uh, figure it out it's quite simple to do and now you show the help this is going to trigger an intent to the help activity as you've seen uh, that's uh, what the floating action button will be attached to on resume uh, you get the text uh, you clear that out so that there will be an empty uh, field in there the text so that nothing will actually be uh, saved that's on resume that's on when the activity uh, comes back again and on option item selected this is actually for the menu uh, the floating uh, the the overflow menu that uh, now you have two actions here for the help you could actually trigger to the uh, that uh, the help uh, activity or the action locale settings that's actually going to call the settings from your device you're going to go straight to the language settings for you to be able to select the language in question so that you'll be able to test and see uh, the flow so cool and the app activity is just simple uh, that's just uh, uh, the the field where we have uh, the support contact your support and, and what have you uh, you have the floating action button as well and uh, now you're going to pass in a string number which uh, you're going to make a call through so it's just like calling uh, a number so this is how to actually set it up once you set the number you call the support sender you pass in the number string as a parameter and now let's get to look at the method that sends an intent to the dial the phone number using action dial you should all know that and this the parameter the phone number and the, the, you could firstly get the format the phone number for dialing and uh, you get that as a formatted number and you create an intent to trigger the action dial where you're going to set data uh, to the uh, format number but now you need to pass to URL you need to convert that string to URL that's what you're seeing here now if the package resolves to an app you send an intent to trigger that and the dollar is going to uh, get across so that's just very simple this is just a basic way to set up uh, localization in Android application uh, you create uh, the string XML and you specify which type of string values you need translated for example the support phone translatable for so this is not going to get translated so other aspects of the string will get translated uh, this also the date won't be translated as you've seen uh, which we specify translated false so also uh, the uh, instruction can't resolve app for action dialing intent uh, so this is also not going to be translated that's why you specify false if you don't want a particular string value to not to be translated you specify translated or translatable to false so that's just it and you could actually translate all the feeds you needed uh, to the different language so that's just how to do localization uh, in, the, uh, in the, uh, an Android application and don't forget in the manifest since you are handling uh, a language that uh, right from right to left uh, you need to also undo this thank you very very much you need to specify uh, the support RTL to be true so with that you're good to go Thank you.